All right, and there we are. What felt like an eternity it was just a minute of loading or something. Um, this is what you'll see when you load in to the game. Um, this is cool. I can kind of look around. Again, I'm using a gamepad. Uh, the very first thing I like to do is uh, I hit the minus key uh, on my keyboard. It's not on the numpad. It's actually the one further to the left, which is to the very right of your zero key. Um, and hit that a couple of times until you're at 0.3 zoom. In the top right corner, it says 0.3 zoom. Basically, you zoom out all the way because you can just see better this way, right? Um, also, for now, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click height menu bar. And for some reason, I always have to click this twice for it to actually height the menu bar because I don't think we'll need it, uh, at least not right now. Uh, the engine is already running. That's okay, we're gonna leave it running for now. Uh, as I said, I'm not gonna be the one to do checklists and to do all kinds of maintenance and, and crazy realistic stuff that I don't really care about that. Um, but we can we can check out here, we like, like the outside. We can actually take a look from the outside here by hitting F11, F11 goes to the outside view. You can see we're kind of in parking here. We can hit F9 to go back to our virtual cockpit is the name of this. Um, and the first thing we want to do is, I think, call cockpit familiarization. Uh, it's going to be fairly quick, hopefully. But we have to know what the things here do. If you see this cockpit for the first time, um, it can be... It's not that complicated, but it can be quite daunting. The first thing, um, like, literally all we need is in this area. There's no overheads here, like you see on other aircraft or, or anything uh, else. There's nothing here. So it's, it's pretty simple. In this view, we see... 90% of the stuff that we need. So let's start out. Uh, and, and I'm not gonna explain everything here, some of the things I don't know about myself, to be honest, at this point, and I still need to learn about them. Um, but I do know about the things that we will need, so I'm only going to talk about the things we'll need. Um, on the left side here, we can ignore all of this for now. This is, I mean, this is obviously like your fuel, right? That's something you would obviously look after in real life. Uh, there's oil, uh, oil, oil temperature and stuff like that, uh, oil pressure. We don't need it. We, we have no, no failures right now. We don't need to care about this. Again, this is not a tutorial. It's just learning how to fly in a simple way. So we can ignore all of this. We can ignore all of this down here. Um, for the most part as well. So let's take a look at this kind of main panel, uh, main panel, sorry. I call these six gauges here or displays. I call them the main panel, which, as you can see right here. So um, this is your, let me zoom in on this actually, let's look a little bit better. This is our airspeed indicator. It shows you how fast the air is traveling along your wings. Okay, it's not the ground speed. There's a difference between the, the speed over the ground and the air speed. It's not going to be overly important right now, so I'm not even going to go too much into this. It's measured in knots, 40 knots, 60, 80, 100, 120, and so on and so forth. Um, if you go too slow in the air, you will stall. That means you're, you will lose lift because there's not enough air pushing along the wings. That means uh, you're in a big, big problems. So make sure you're going fast enough. Uh, anywhere in the green is generally fast enough, although uh, you know, when you're flying, I wouldn't generally go far below 60 knots uh, or, or even below 80 knots because there's generally not much of a need for that. And, you know, I've also never really needed to push the plane into the yellow either. If you go too fast, you'll get a, a what's called in an overspeed situation, which means your airplane is going to lose structural integrity, I think is what it's called. Basically, your airplane is going to rip apart because you're going so fast that, you know, your control surfaces, um, uh, which are all these cool little things that kind of uh, move on your plane, like you can see right now. These are called the elevators, these are called the ailerons, and this is the rudder. Um, all these kind of control surfaces are gonna be, you know, possibly close to getting ripped off, and that's even worse than a stall, pretty much. Uh, as far as I know, it's, it's all shitty. So, uh, you know, don't have that happen to you. So, essentially, keep your speed in this range between 80 and 100 and... 30 or something, right? And it's all gonna be good. The next one to the right here, this uh, top center one is called, uh, the, they call it the attitude indicator, but I'd, I'd call it the artificial horizon. Uh, it should be relatively self-explanatory. This is your nose of the plane. These are your wings, and it's kind of like being in a third-person view of the plane right behind it. 
And you can check out the wing balance. So, you know, if you're banking or rolling to the left or right, this will show you by moving the background. Uh, you have these little stripes here, these horizontal stripes. Uh, they indicate five degrees of um, elevation. So you can pitch your nose up or pitch your nose down and you'll see, you know, if the nose is up at the at this kind of uh, black larger stripe in the middle above our nose, it's going to be at a, a an incline of or we're going to climb at 10 degrees uh, pretty much there if it's if it's there. Um, and also this red arrow and the, and the blue and sorry the white uh, stripes uh, over it here at the top of the indicator, those are your bank angle uh, or roll angle, and uh, it's like uh, five is it five ten fifteen? It's probably more like ten twenty thirty. Yeah, it's probably ten degrees twenty thirty and like sixty or something. Um, we're not going to use that too much, um, but it's good to know. Again, we're gonna fly with autopilot here quite heavily. To the right of it is the altimeter, which is your height above sea level. Okay, it's a barometric altimeter. Um, and this will show you your feet, that you are away from sea level. Now, sea level is not ground level. If you're flying over a mountain that's a thousand feet high, you're gonna crash when this thing says you're a thousand feet over sea level, right? Should hopefully make sense. Um, we are well there's not really too much we have to talk about this thing is fairly simple uh, you have to calibrate it you also have to calibrate your uh, main display your artificial horizon here your primary display um, every now and then but I'm gonna talk about that when the time comes and it's actually not that important either let's go down here this gauge is for us right now it doesn't matter I know sort of what it does but uh, I don't think we should you know, like obsess about this not right now now is not the time for that uh, this is our heading indicator. This one's pretty important. And obviously it just shows us the heading we're flying in right now, a course. Okay, right now you can see we're aiming at course 300. Says 30, but that means it's 300 degrees. And in, in aviation you say 300 uh, when you talk to anybody else, just because it's more clear as far as I know. Um, we're not gonna mess with this one. This would be uh, this would be our adjustment for this interface. Actually, I said we we're gonna adjust this interface. That's actually not correct. It's not modeled. We're gonna we're gonna actually adjust these two. It doesn't matter too much right now, anyways. And uh, this is our heading buck. Uh, it's gonna be used in um, in uh, with the autopilot, and we can turn this. Right now, it's at zero, which is north. We can uh, use our mouse uh, or scroll wheel here to kind of shift it left and right, and this way we select a heading to fly to. Okay, so this is quite important. Um, and we're going to talk about the autopilot in more detail as well. And then on the right is another important display, your vertical speed, uh, 100 feet per minute. So right now we're not rising or falling or climbing or, or, or falling by by anything, obviously, because we're on the ground. If this was aiming at like uh, or pointing at the five here down, that would mean we're falling at 500 feet per minute. And um, I think the default uh, is 700 if you're gonna let the autopilot climb. You can change that to uh, 1000. I, you don't wanna overdo it. Again, don't wanna get a climb or, or drop too fast, um, even, even if you're with the autopilot, because uh, it's unsafe. So we're probably not gonna exceed 700, maybe 800 feet per minute. Um, okay, and then these gauges here, uh, we're not gonna use the bottom one in this flight. Uh, and these other ones we're gonna look at, but uh, they're, they have to do with uh, the landing approach for us here in this flight. We're gonna use those for landing. And honestly, I will talk to you about that when the time comes. Uh, there's a switch up here, and we're gonna talk about this. It has to do with the autopilot. I'm gonna talk about this when the time comes as well.